Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Animal Crossing Population Growing Part 99! Ooh, we're at, we are on our 99th part, I love this. And there is Bertha. I don't know what's wrong with Bertha. Bertha... Why does she always say that? Because... This is our house, like... There's not really a way around that. Um, we are gonna fish today, but I'm also gonna recap the Voice UK, I guess. <laughs> Tom Nook, and then what's this? HRA. Alright, okay. Um, Reed, Trilobite, money, Stegosaurus Torso, possibly money. I know these two are money, so we will head down there and sell things. No. We will head down there and sell things um, before we fish. Or, fi you know, figure out if we can sell things. Alright, um... No, what? I'm so confused today, just at, like, everything. Oh, hi, Sahara. Um... I need to get to Wikipedia. Eh. I, I, I can't remember... This is frustrating me. I can't do both. I can't, but I have to somehow. Okay. Wait, no. Weed. Pick. Alright. <clears throat> now, I will. Okay, so the first person who sang was Trevor Francis, who sang A Change Is Going To Come, or A Change Is Gonna Come, um, by Sam Cooke. He has a cool voice. It's smooth, and yeah, I don't necessarily like his falsetto, but... Other than that, his voice is cool, and he got all four to turn around, so good for him. He went with Jesse. And he reminds me of, like... Oh, good. He reminds me of Cassius Henry. Um, he was on Jesse's team last year. But yeah, so good for him. Then next, she was... Uh, I don't want to read these. You guys can mute me and read this. Even though I probably should. Anyway, um, next was Emma Jade Garbutt who sang Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. We completed the Stegosaurus, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five fossils left to find, and then we've completed the entire museum. Um, anyway, she sang Sweet Child of Mine, and I actually think the voice, like, the UK needs more country singers. I think they do, and so I think she's pretty chill, and I hope she goes sort of far. She got Tom to turn around at the very last word of her performance. So, yay for Team Tom, because Tom's probably my favorite coach. Well, Tom and Danny. I love Danny, that's the problem. Like, the script is, like, one of my favorite artists ever, but, like, Tom's the better coach. So, um... Then Alex Buchanan, who sang Don't Wake Me Up by Chris Brown. This guy, he has, like, actual potential, but he was dancing the whole time, and his vocals really suffered. And, like, I don't know why people haven't got that yet. Like, just last night on The Voice America, a guy came on and sang Don't Wait, or, um, As Long As You Love Me by Justin Bieber, and he was dancing the entire time, and his vocals were absolutely terrible. Like, I don't under- This has happened every season. Why do people understand that if you dance, you are going to use all your breath on your dancing, and you will not sound good? Like, I don't understand why people don't get this yet. Because it's pretty simple. A pop-eyed goldfish? That wasn't what I intended to catch, but cool! Um... Let's see, I really hope I'm, like, not missing any of the fish that I need to catch, because otherwise, like, I can't just, like, you know, skip back a month. Like, it doesn't work that way. I feel like I need to empty my pockets, because we have too much here. Is that a killer fish? It's probably not, so I'm just gonna go. Um, anyway, yeah, he was, like shaky the entire time, but he actually has, like, actual potential. And, yeah, he got all four to turn around after Danny and Will were like, wait, this guy's not good. You should turn around so that you can have him instead of me. And he ended up going with Jess, 
yeah, Jesse again. So, more people for Jesse. Um, but yeah, he has actual potential. A lot of people are like saying that he's absolutely terrible, and he's not absolutely terrible. He was just dancing, but his range is incredible, and I look forward to seeing more of him. Um, the next contestant to sing, his name was Ragsy. His real name is like Gary Ryland or something. Um, but his nickname, her stage name, his stage name is Ragsy, and he sang The Scientist by Coldplay. Coldplay is like my favorite band ever, so if someone's gonna sing a Coldplay song, they better be absolutely outstanding, otherwise it will be really hard for me to enjoy it. This guy, I think, he doesn't necessarily have the most outstanding voice, it's sort of generic and simple. Um, I think Danny and Tom, was it? Yeah. I think... He, I think they turned around mainly because he did the song differently. And I didn't like the arrangement of the song more than the original, but he, he doesn't have a bad voice, and he has, like, really big lungs. So, I don't know. He went with Tom. He was a little snarky to the other coaches. I don't I don't like his personality much. But he had um, a fun joking time thing with Danny, which was cool. Danny really wanted him, so... Guppy. Guppies are so cute in this game. Um... The next artist was a duo, Smith and Jones, Katie Smith and Harry Jones. Apparently this chick was a chick on the X Factor UK who went on a date with Harry Styles, but now these two are a couple, and they are the cutest couple ever, oh my gosh. And they're just legitimately adorable, and I love them. And they sang Candy by Paolo Nutini, and I really love their harmonies, and they're just really great, and, like, they're one of my favorites so far. Thank you, Huck. But yeah, so I really like them, and they got Danny to turn around in, like, the last few seconds, and I think them and, or, like, Danny will work really well with them, and I like Danny a lot, so I'm, I'm really glad they're on his team. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I have to say. Oh, I wanted to catch that. Um, I don't know, I feel like Smith & Jones isn't gonna be very popular. I feel like they're one of those people that, like, or one of those artists that you either hate or you love, and I feel like a lot of people are going to hate them, but I absolutely love them. So I hope they go far. They're one of my absolute favorites so far. Um, let's see. Oh, Liam Tamna. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. It's T-A-M-N-E. I wasn't listening very well. Oops. Um, he sang This Woman's Work by Kate Bush. Well, originally by Kate Bush. I think he sang Maxwell's version. But either way, um... I'm not actually a big fan of this guy, and everyone else is. <laughs> He's He reminds me a lot of Tyler James from last year, who came in second. Or, well, he technically came in third. Um... And... I hated Tyler James and his falsetto. Everyone was like, oh wow, your falsetto is like so strong and so appealing. And to me, his falsetto sounded screechy and difficult to use. So that's how I feel with Liam. I mean, like, his full voice has actual talent, but I, I don't know. I feel like they'll unnecessarily keep him around because apparently the UK likes that sort of thing, but I really don't. Um, I don't know why I keep trying to fish down there because I need to remember that large chars do not come out until 4 p.m. What is this? This is big. This is probably just stupid, but oh well. Um, next was Nadim Lee, and he sang a mo or a medley of... Well, he sang a mashup of I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For by U2 and The Blower's Daughter by Damien Rice. Why does it keep going away from my bobber? Yeah, there we go. Please be something cool. Oh... Um, he got all, no, he got just Danny to turn around, actually. Well, Liam got all four, but Nadim got just Danny, because Danny was, like, really passionate about him, and he just sort of had that look, like, if you turn around and don't let me have this guy, I will kill you. And, so yeah, he's on Danny's team, and I think they'll work pretty well together, because he actually has, like, real talent, and I'm excited to see more from him. He's not one of my, like, outstanding favorites, like, it doesn't take my breath away, but he's definitely good, and I think with this song, like, with a better song choice. These song choices were okay, but I think with, like, a great song choice, he'll just be absolutely fabulous, and I look forward to seeing what he'll do in the battles. 
Um, and then, let's see. And then the final contestant, who... This is probably just going to go on for the next 10 minutes. Well, I'll try to not let it go on for the next 10 minutes. But... I think we... Have we donated a blue gill before? I don't know. I'm going to release the barbell steed. Anyway, I've talked about this contestant so many times. It's Alice Williams, and she was the last one to turn, or she was the last one to audition, and she sang The Cave by Mumford and Sons. I just felt the vibration, but I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where my phone is, but it, I'm, I'm so confused. Anyway, um, she sang The Cave by Mumford and Sons, and it was like really, 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 really pretty, and oh my gosh, it was just amazing, in my opinion anyway, and... She got all four to turn around like she rightly deserved in the first season when she auditioned. So, she's just, like, absolutely amazing, and I'm so glad that she got all four because she totally deserved it. And, yeah, like, she's just great. And she actually took 45 minutes to decide which coat she was going to go with. Like, 40, I don't know if I could do that. 45 minutes without sitting down, just, like, standing there the entire time, like... I don't know if I could do that, like, honestly. Um, but eventually she went with Tom, and I think Tom is the right coach. I think Tom's the best coach because of his experience. He has so much experience, like... It's hard to explain. He's just sort of... Like, he never makes a wrong decision because he actually judges music well. Please don't, okay. Like, he actually judges music well, and makes the right decisions and doesn't let emotion alter his decisions or let his ego get in the way and he just always picks who deserves to go through so unless she's matched up against another singer who would apparently be better than her which so far hasn't come along in my opinion anyway then she would probably be eliminated but I feel like she, she's going to go far, and Tom will help her in the competition. And I'm pretty- I'm, I'm almost positive she'll make it past the battle rounds. But I also can't see her, like, actually battling someone. Like, she just seems so soft and sweet and caring. Like, I can't actually picture her, like, going head-to-head -head trying to beat another person. Like, that doesn't seem like the kind of person she is to me. Actually, we're not going to continue fishing right now. We're going to go talk to Woolio. Okay. But yeah, so, you should all go check out Alice and her version of the song she sang so far, and she's really cool, so Team Tom for the win, and I hope to see more of her and, you know, better song choices. Well, this one was amazing for her voice, but, you know, even better song choices, and yeah, I, I just look forward to more of her, and I hope she goes far. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. What? Are you serious, though? You're a jock. Like, the jocks work out every single day. That's so not fair, Willio. Okay. Yeah, bummer. What do you mean, the other day? She literally moved, like, a month and a half ago. I'm not a jerk. I just don't want to go all the way to, like, another town right now. Like, that doesn't sound, like, fun to me. Plus, we're already at 13 minutes. Oh, did I... I don't think I told you. It's, like, blizzarding out again. It's April 9th now. It's blizzarding. Blizzarding. I don't know if that's a word, but there's a blizzard outside right now. And it was actually a snow day, like... School was called off, so my entire family is home right now. What I don't get is, like, even though it's been a blizzard, like, there... It's not very... It's not very, like, thick or high. It's just sort of, like, light snow. Yet they called school off. Yet last time there was a blizzard, it literally snowed nine inches, and they didn't call it off, and we had to drive two hours to get there, and we saw like nine car accidents on the way, nine to fourteen around that area, 
Like, it was really weird. We haven't talked to this guy in a while, so... Uh... How could things be even better? I don't know, like, what else to do. There was a weed around here somewhere. I know there was. Oh, hi, Leopold. We don't talk to you often enough. Yeah. Okay, I will do that. Alright, I still need to record, like, Poke Park, and I don't... Possibly Paper Mario? I don't know if I have to record Paper Mario today, or if I'm on my last part that hasn't been... Or that's already been recorded, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay. I hate sneezing during recording. I hate it so much. Get over yourself, Wooleo. Ooh, wait. You should talk to each other. Go over there. Talk to Unit, or talk to Nosuke. No, stop. No, okay. Talk to each other. No! Why does this always happen to me? I actually really liked Wooleo in that outfit, and, like, I don't have any other designs. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like we need better designs, but, like, I don't know how. Or what. No. You need to talk to each other again. We need to find Bertha, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Fine. Let's just stay in that. He looked so much better in the other outfit, though. Like, I'm disappointed. That actually seemed like... I think that's that, that's the killer fish. I mean, like, it seems rather big. I just realized I sold the guppy. What did I do? Oh my gosh, we need to donate that. What, what is wrong with me? That's a crawfish. Why did I sell the guppy? Why? Why? <sighs> this is disappointing. Um, where's Bertha? She was here. Bertha was here. Where is she now? Oh, there you are. Good. And somehow B is on the other side of the river now. Delivery. Oh my gosh, why are you saying that? No, you weren't. Okay, well, you know, it took time for me, but oh well. An iron frame? Are you serious? Alright then. Well, have a good day, you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I'll be back in a bit with other projects. Thank you for watching. Bye.